Hello everyone, this is Ace and welcome to Rise in the Twilight. So, I tried to play the game made by the same people, uh, Porto Neek. I don't think I'll be uploading that, because that game was absurdly clunky and um, really difficult and it just didn't play too well. Uh, this is a newer game made by the same people, supposedly. Uh, based on the reviews, it's got some improvements, it still has some of the same flaws, but hopefully we can look past that. That's what I'm hoping to do. Um, but this game, you control the keyboard, which is already a start, uh, which is probably good, because um, the previous game you controlled with a mouse, and it was not a very well controlled game. Supposedly it was made first with a PS feature and it, it wasn't very well ported, but um... Wait a minute. What kind of controls are these? Hold up. I can't play the controlling. Alright, well that makes more sense. That was WASD and then probably J-I-K-L or like U-H-J-K or something wild like that. So your both hands are on the keyboard, like the keys part of the keyboard. Alright, so since it's a platformer like this, we're going to try and play with a controller because that... Unless you need absolute precision, I don't want to be using that part of the keyboard for jumping. Actually, more importantly, can I... Ch I can't change it. Okay, so there's a... Holy shit, that's a lot of stuff. Um, wait, the mouse wheel? Okay, there's a lot of controls. I might actually want to go with controller here, because that might be easier. Okay. Um... Alright, we'll try to play with controller for now. I. Wow, that was a pathetic jump. Okay, I didn't expect that to happen. But this game didn't even have a start menu. It just started with this, with a bit of um, red dripping on this girl's head. I believe this girl's called Rose. Uh, alright. That is a really pathetic jump. I'm... How? That's like an exact pixel jump, isn't it? Alright, well, I didn't know people still make games like that. Okay. So that's the first thing I'm going to say, is that we're going to have a really hard time. Also, uh... I've got this game in a window right now because for some reason in full screen it doesn't behave quite right, but... Oh, we get camera. Oh, okay, we can actually look around. Cool. But at least this game feels a bit better already since I have more control over the character. <laughs> so, hopefully you can enjoy this. It's obviously quite dark. Um, also that, I know that was one of the things that people complained about a lot in the um, reviews was that any kind of fall will cause it to splat. Uh, but that was the same in the previous game as well. You didn't even have control over when you splatted, so... Uh, let's... Okay, um... Tiny little rock cannot be stepped over. What is this? Fawn pal, you found a note about the cursed fawns. Check the collection screen for details. I saw blood. Why, why is she looking back like that? Why is she so scared? Okay. Uh... Fawn Research Diary 1. I am cursed by the fawns. Due to that, people fear, shun, and do cruel things to me. I am sheltered by the owner of the castle, my father, and live peacefully, but I wonder how long that will last. Is there a way to lift this curse? Learning about the fawns may help. This is a log about my research. A fawn will grow upon a cursed human's body and will absorb both time and color. I think that's the main gimmick of the game. Objects that have their time and color absorbed will remain static, for example. If the object is immediate, it will stay still immediate. Static objects cannot be moved, the presence of color has some sort of power, and the forms that absorb the power can be the reason why certain objects objects lack the essence of time. Does that include myself? Because you look very um, dark right now. Alright, so this is color, right? Okay. Production quality is different off the last time. Alright, so this is a castle crumbling around this gatekeeper looking person. Or the inside the gate, can't tell. Oh, that's a big rock. That bunny on the side is just killing the atmosphere right now. It's so cute. Alright, well, anyways. Um... Oh, wait, was that that person's blood? Because there's a person kind of crushed here. A blood memory. After absorbing blood, you will obtain a memory it contains, which was that person being squished. 
Uh, since I had the chance, I saw the human blood. Right after my vision became distorted, I saw was and all I saw was red. Okay, I don't know why that sentence was so hard. Uh, just when I thought I was going to die, an unfamiliar sight lied before me. An, unfam an unfamiliar person, an unfamiliar exchange. Looking back on it, that could have been the memory of the blood's owner. Blood seems to have special powers. Ever since I was cursed, the color really stands out to me. Does this have to do with anything about my curse? I thought the fawn sought color, but maybe it only switches for red. No, could it be that it seeks blood? Well, probably. Alright, uh, so... We now have blood. So... I presume we can... Okay, here's another thing. I transfer blood power to these things. But I want to read the details first, so... Ah, uh, diary number three. Those who are cursed by fawns have some control over absorbing color. They can absorb color from objects and transfer color to ones without. An object that receives color will regain the effects of time. It will regain motion as if time never stopped. Absorb color and transfer to objects without any... What is this power used for? Alright, so let's see what this actually wants us to do. Okay, I don't know what that did, but... I do not know what for what purpose. Change the targets when there's more than one in range. Okay, but I don't see the purpose of this. I've had enough being bonked on the head from the previous game to not stand up for top of this. Alright, I presume that was for practice, and what we actually need to do is uh, for this thing up here. Alrighty then, let us continue along our way. Alright, so now we don't have the blood at all when we enter a new screen. That's a good start. Okay, uh, do you come back down again? Well, that's about it. Come on, that moves really fast, okay? Like that, I guess. This is what they want us to do. That makes sense, and that's actually a cool mechanic. Okay, what's happening here? Just drop it. I need to keep the blood with me, actually. Let's just take that out. I feel more secure with it, okay? Regeneration power. Those who are cursed by the fawns will not be forsaken by the shining bird. When their bodies decay, they will be brought back to life below the bird. Okay, so that's a checkpoint system. I died. I definitely died. I wandered outside and the religious order found me. They tortured me and then beheaded me. But I woke up in a familiar forest. I was covered with dark fawns close to the area I was killed at. People of this country despise the fawns and never step foot in, in this forest. I get lost here and was cursed. Oh, I got lost here and was cursed. Okay, so that explains the cursed part. I slowly made my way back to the spot I had been killed at, but I did not find my body. After you die, is your body supposed to reappear? How did I come back to life? Am I really human? Probably not. I'm very confused. The pain and despair I felt when I died. I can't write any more today. Alright, well, that is somewhat discomfort. Okay, there's a gap there! Oh, there's a thing down here. Alright, how to repeat life and death. Okay. <laughs> I've been repeating the cycle of life and death. I was scared at first, but I'm getting used to it. I figured out a way to die using the fawn's power by forcing his power upon my own blood. The stronger my will, the stronger the fawns were uh, the fawn were yet. Since I've died many times, I've reached the conclusion that I'm immortal. No matter how many times I die, I awaken in the same place, greeted by an airy, uh, airy shining bird. Is that thing bringing me back to life? It's almost like patching up a hole in a piece of clothing by fixing a broken toy over and over again. Okay. I'm holding. Oh. Alright, well, that is one way to do it. I just killed myself. Alrighty then, and we still have blood in our bag, cool. So that was a tutorial on how to reset, cool. Right, so where was that? Okay, that was where the hole was. Jeez, they really didn't... Wait, how do I get rid of this blood? Can I drop the blood? Can I actually kind of don't need it right now. Alright, hold up. You, here, take this. I don't need this right now. So you can't... Uh, get more blood when you bring a blood store. Okay, that's good to know. Um... Okay, I understand now, kind of. Is that gonna, like, murder me? Is this gonna be too high? Alright, I face planted, but there's actually a different path that way. Let me see if I can... Uh, I can't get the blood back open again, I? Okay, I can't reach. But I can do this. 
For what purpose did I do that? Okay. Oh, that thing's wobbling. Oh, well, actually, uh, actually, no, you take this. And I want to see if I can make this thing fall. Okay, I can't. I can't move the other side. But I feel like there's something to the top left there that I could go to because, um, this is the way forward, I guess. Alright, um. Oh boy. Give me your blood. Never mind, don't give me your blood. Uh, can I jump, jump on you, actually? Uh. Oh wait, okay, no, this is fine. Give me this. And then we'll splat down here. Ow. <laughs> uh, what's down here? Do I need to... Wait, is this gonna roll me over? No, it's not, okay. But that didn't really serve any real purpose either. Okay. Alright, what's down here? What am I do dealing with down here? Is this a gap? Okay, she didn't splat for a change. That's a good start, I guess. Why is this red? And I, I'm carrying blood right now, so I can't... What is all this? Why is there so many red things here? Right, I'm gonna go drop the blood off. I don't know if um, I need it down here, because there's so many red things anyway. But, um, yeah, this game definitely seems more enjoyable than the previous game. Okay, I'm back up now. Alright, let me just, um, off myself. Here we go, let me, I just off myself, and we come straight back to here. So let us, not even bother picking that up, actually. If we want red, we can get some down here. I don't know if I'm actually supposed to push that down, so that I can have a path back up. But let's just see what these things down here do. Because we can uh, drain blood out of these things. Alright, I don't know what you do, but okay. You can take that back, I don't need you. What about you? I have no idea what you are. What is this? What kind of dungeon is this? Hello! What the hell are you? Not enough? Don't need to give you more? Oh, nope. It's shaking. That's an egg of some kind. Oh, nope. Never mind. It's not an egg. Oh, hello. What are you? Oh, okay. Hi. Please do not hurt me. I guess. I splattered. Is that bad? Oh, that's a cage. Hi, I'm in a bird cage. Oh, so this is our second character. I know you needed a um, lift. That's a nice throw. Okay. Friend? She's looking very surprised there, okay. The giant can lift rows, right. <laughs> cool. Alright, well, I guess we're just gonna walk off like this then. After lifting object B will drop it to the on the ground, okay. Um, so I think it has to have blood in it for me to uh, move it. Which means that... We just threw a rose, okay. <laughs> okay, I don't think that's what I'm supposed to do, but alright. You can throw a rose, that, that's interesting. Um, but also, oh yeah, I think I need to actually grab this team. I think that's what I actually need to do. Alright, grab the table. 
not throw rows, because that was kind of stupid. Um, there was a gap here that I couldn't get across, so I presume we just plop this table down. Okay, will I plop it more gently? There we go. Alright! Where are you, Rose? Come here. <laughs> Let me just pick you back up again. <laughs> she seems really lifeless there. It's kind of worrying. Alright, up we go. Up we go. <laughs> Alright, now gently lower Rose to the ground. Okay, so what I presume we actually have to do here is we'll take the blood from here. Uh, we'll put it into that rock and then we'll have to giant toss it away. Uh, let's just go down here so we don't actually smack rows of it. Alright! Now we pick her back up and we're on our way now. <laughs> go to get her with Rose and the giant, so you have to move to get her. Okay. Cool. And what is this now? Go, Rose! Why is that? That was terrifying, okay. So, the giant can't move these unless um, they're actually animated with blood. Wait. Cool. Alright. The giant can traverse four without getting hurt, but traveling across the roads in hand seems like a bad idea. Alright, so that's basically the bit where they actually want you to fur. Okay, I got stuck. Okay, we just offed ourselves again. That's a good start, I guess. Can I? Can you pick this up? Alright, you can't. Yeah, you can't pick this up. Okay. Hoya! So we take this. We put it under here. We create this, we grab this, we put this down, we go up the top, we switch back, we take this, and we put it back into here. You go back up. That enough to... Ooh, hey. Here you go. Alright! So... <laughs> Hoi! Yeah! <laughs> Alright, well then, that works I guess. Uh, I'm enjoying this game a lot more than the previous game already. At least, and all its slightly clunky parts is making me laugh a lot. We have a slight issue where we have currently carrying blood. We can't... Oh, we're stuck. Can we off ourselves while with a giant? We can't good. Alright, are we carrying we are carrying blood right now. Do I need to get rid of that blood? Or can I just throw um rose over the top of that? Right, can we make a spawn? Alright, I might just have to throw rose over the top of that uh thing. Oh wait, it's coming. Just heard something. Off you go! Never mind! Whoops! I made a splash! <laughs> oh god. Well that, that is good. Alright, actually you know what? If we just drop you like right here, right? And then we go down here ourselves. We can kinetically get rid of this thing without splashing rose, right? Give me this. Get the hell out of here! I think I need you, so that might be... Perfect! Alright, never mind, that is perfectly good. I feel more comfortable moving a giant because Rose can splat, that's not good. Wow, we can just grab her off the top of the ledge. <laughs> okay then, I'm having way too much fun with this. Alright, now we need to work our way to get them both across. Alright, so let's just sit Rose now. We'll get the blood off this. Can't. Oh wait. Oh god. Hmm. Hiya! 
Can we just like grab one of these to get them out of the way? Well, that's a problem. This is a slight issue. How do you do this? Oh, well, let's just off ourselves again. <laughs> I'm laughing way too much about offing myself. Alright, um... I don't get this puzzle, actually. Do I need both these pieces as the main question right now? I don't feel like I actually need both these pieces. Cause I feel like if I give blood to that thing, it'll automatically like move into the spot I needed to go. All right, let's just chuck this over here for now. Can I grab Rose off the top? Actually, no. Can't Rose just come down from here? Yeah. Why is that thing? Oh, jeez. Just ride it like a freaking wheel. Cause I already have blood right now, so if I can. Not what I wanted to do, but okay. Um... That's closer to what I wanted then, um, before here. Actually, no, I can't move it without that thing. Okay. Stand now. Let's just off ourselves one more time. But yeah, we need to um come along here. We just pick this up, drop this. Uh, we need to give blood to this thing first. Um, and then we need to, I think, ideally throw this so that I can try and lodge it into its place and take the blood out of it. Because we need to um, basically give this thing blood, like this. Yeah, we need to go grab this thing. I don't know if I should just grab right and throw it outside to start off. Because then we need to throw this. Uh, without dunking Rose on the head, ideally. So, uh... Too early. What up? There we go. I think that's about right. Oh, there we go. Not bad. Alright, so I can't tell how this game sections itself, so... I think we might actually just call it a day. Maybe after this room. We'll stay after this room, I don't know. Alright, uh, let's just grab Rose Glow underneath this, so yoink. Alright, we've got some blood, but um... I. I think this game was supposed to be in chapters, but it doesn't feel like it right now. What's happening? I'm not that stupid. Come on. How high does this go up? Can I go off the okay. Never mind. Wait, can I throw Rose over there? Totally can, can't I? I don't know if I should. <laughs> what is the butt here? Okay, let me just... Can I get to the checkpoint? Alright, and then we'll throw Rose over there, why not? Yoink! Oh hi, look, blood. Oh. Well that's slightly problematic. I need to find a place to get rid of this blood that I'm carrying. Why am I carrying blood again? Alright, well, uh, let's just find somebody to like, offload this. We don't have anyone to offload this blood. Ah, you. Yeah, perfect. You take this. Alright, we're gonna pick up that memory. If that's the last thing I do. I think there's only a second one. I don't know. There's, there was another spot where I could have gone that I didn't manage to get to. So... This is probably the third one. Alright, let's have a look what this says. This presentation myth is a little weird. Okay, here's a girl. She's happy. And then tentacles came, and then we know how that ends. I think I've made that joke enough times with Yomawari.
Uh huh. Oh, that's another. Well, oh, that's a lot of thorns. Oh, that's a lot of tentacles. All right. And did adult content appears after that? Who was that? Is that my my own memory? Okay, so how do we get down from here? Jump! Grab her! Oh, hey, not bad. Okay, so we've got a save point here, so I'm actually gonna just in. I don't know if I'm that saved with what I had right now, but I'm gonna end it off here. If it goes back a little bit, then um, I'll just get back up to this point before we start up next time. So, anyways, that was the first little part of Rose in the Twilight. I'm enjoying it a lot more than um, Hosho Neek already. Uh, the controls are more fluid. Well, you have control. I guess that's probably the bigger point to point out. Um, and what you actually need to do seems more straightforward and less absolutely precise. Hopefully there's not too many cycle-based puzzles. Uh, the fact you can start and stop um, the time of objects probably means there will be some, but hopefully there's some space in terms of uh, actually completing them. Alright, so anyways, that is the first part of A Rose in the Twilight. If you don't want to follow along with the rest of the series, remember to subscribe. Thanks for watching, until next time.